Revelation 22, Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street, on either side of the river, was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his bondservants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will no longer be any night, and they will not have need of the light of a lamp, nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God will illumine them, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are faithful and true. And the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show to his bondservants the things which must be, which must soon take place. And behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who heeds the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship at the feet of of the angel who showed me these things and he said to me do not do that i am a fellow servant of yours and of your brethren the prophets and of those of those who heed the words of this book worship god and he said to me do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book for the time is near let the one who does wrong still do wrong and the one who is filthy still be filthy, and let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness, and the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying i jesus have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches i am the root and the descendant of david the bright morning star the spirit and the bride say come and let the one who hears say come and let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who wishes take the water of life without cost. I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues which are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life and from the holy city which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things say, Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen. Wow. So we just finished Revelation. So I don't know what I'm going to be reading yet. Um, starting tomorrow, but wherever the Lord leads me. But. Wow. The time is near. Um, and times are near. Judgment is here and is approaching for the wicked and for those who come, ag uh, come up against God's children um, who have done so. And so the, the wicked will not go unpunished. So don't try to take revenge into your own hands. Allow God to take vengeance. Um... Friendships of the mind, says the Lord. And so, it's not going to benefit any of us if we are taking things into our own hands and we are trying to take revenge upon those who have hurt us. We're not called to take revenge upon our enemies. We're called to pray for our enemies, to love our enemies, and to forgive. We're called to forgive. And so we need to allow and let God do the rest. 
allow God to do what he sees fit. And I know it's hard because you, you're wondering why, 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 what's going on? Why are they getting away with this? They're not going to get away with it any longer. I mean, I feel like God's really putting his foot down at this point and is just fed up with this wickedness in this world and with all, all this chaos that's, that's going on that, that how people are coming up against God's children and whenever people come up against God's children, they are coming up against God. So they're going to have to deal with that in judgment day and they're going to be judged and God is going to handle them in the way they see fit. So you just need to give that up it, like, like surrender to God, surrender that situation to God, surrender those people to God and allow God to do what he sees fit. And I know that it's hard because you, you, you are just only doing what the Lord is calling you to do and you're just being obedient. But at the end of the day, we need to be focusing on what God is telling us to do and not focusing on the negativity or being drawn into circular conversations. I know that's easy, especially if you're dealing with spiritual warfare. And, you know, if people are trying to pull you into a circular conversation, it's very much clear that those people are being controlled by the enemy. So be very careful. Monitoring spirits can be upon people that are being controlled by the enemy as well. They will ask you a bunch of questions. So just be aware and be careful and be careful what you answer to and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and allow God to guide you on what to say and what not to say and how to respond and how not to respond. That is, that is so important that we ask God for his wisdom and guidance and for his discernment, spiritual eyes to see, spiritual ears to hear. And it's so important we ask him those things. He will give that to us. But we need to be the one to ask to be the one we need to be the ones to ask him that. And so he is coming quickly. He we don't know the day or the hour that Jesus is coming back. We don't know the day or the hour. He will come like a thief in the night. He will be coming quickly. The end times are very much near. And so those of you that are twisting up scripture and are adding th to things of the scripture that are not from God, those people will be judged and they're going to be punished. Um, never ever twist scripture or add more to the scripture that is not in scripture. Um, I think that's so important because every time I give out a word, I pray before I give out a word because I want to make sure that what I'm saying is what God wants me to say and not what I want to say. Because I don't want it to come from my flesh. I want it to come from what God wants me to say. So I pray before giving out every word. If if you are new and you don't know. So just giving you a heads up. But maybe make a part two on this. Because I think there's more. But just know those people will be judged greatly. And those people will not go unpunished. And so just keep. Making sure you're right with God and making sure that you repent. Please repent. I know that it's hard because you you want to, you know, do this and then go back. That's just not how it works. We don't have time for that. The end times are near and we need to be serious about this. Again, we have free will. So you have the choice to either reject God or accept God. But at the end of the day, just please repent. Please repent. I mean, I can't stress that enough because we can't, we can't just m m take this lightheartedly and think that, you know, it's okay to go back to what we used to do or okay doing the things that we're doing now that are not pleasing to God. That's not the case. God sees and knows all. He knows what you're doing. And those people will get judged. I mean, the people that think they can get away with it and just keep doing these things, they will be judged. And they will be brought to repentance or, and if they do, choose not to repent, those people are going to be punished. And that's very unfortunate, but it is completely your choice. So again, I will be making a part two to this video. But please, please take this seriously, guys. 